In this video I'm going to do an unboxing and build of this Intel NUC uh, with a Celeron processor. This is the uh, NUC 5CPYH and uh, this can be a part of a series I'm going to do on low power uh, NUC. I do have another uh, series on an Intel Core 5 uh, NUC that I did a couple years ago and I'll put a link to that in the description. Also put a link to these uh, parts in the description too and I'll put uh, my Amazon affiliate link so if this video is helpful to you and you use those links uh, it helps out my channel a little bit and it doesn't cost you a thing. So uh, what we have here is we have the uh, Intel NUC. There, um, when you look at the NUCs if it has an H on the end that means it's a taller, it has a higher height on it so it can support a two and a half inch um, hard drive. For a hard drive, I'm going to use a Samsung uh, 850 EVO SSD. It's a 250 gigabyte. Uh, one thing I want to do is make like a low power computer. Um, with SSDs, a lot of them when they're smaller, they're lower performance and I still want to have a higher performance. Um, and I'm familiar with the Samsung, so I went with the Samsung on this. Um, and especially with the Samsung, the lower with the 850 series, at least the smaller drives, like a 250, is pretty good performance. Um, for memory, I went with a uh, Kingston here. Like I said, I'll put the links in the description so you can see these actual parts here. Um, so I'll get started. I'll open up this uh, NUC. Now the previous uh, model I had when you opened the box up it played the Intel sound. So here it is itself. It's got uh, USB 3.0 ports, uh, has speaker and microphone, and from what I understand this is a Toslink compatible uh, port so you could uh, use uh, fiber optic in there. And you can probably can't see it on camera here, but there is an infrared receiver here, a vent on this side. We have the power, 19 volt power. Okay, so it looks like this is just headphone and microphone. And this one says optical on it, so this one must have the optical connection. It has VGA. Uh, I don't know that a lot of people would use that, but maybe some people would still use it. Uh, HDMI port, uh, network. I'm pretty sure that's gigabit. Two uh, USB 3 port ports here. So you have two on the front, two on the back. And then there's a, a full-size SD card slot. Power button is on the top. And it has rubberized feet on the bottom. Looks like it has a manual here on disassembling. This piece of paper looks like it just has copyright information on it, maybe. Well, it talks about things you can hook into it. <laughs> this is a pollution form. Has the little Intel inside sticker. It's a McAfee, Intel owns McAfee, so it has a little McAfee, looks like a McAfee offer. This is a plate that you can attach to the bottom, so you can uh, hook this onto the back of a, it's a Visa mount, so you can hook this onto the back of a monitor or maybe even TV. Screws. That's everything in the box, and then this is a power supply here. Pretty small. This comes with a bunch of adapters <laughs> for different countries. I'm in the US, so I'll use this one here. Slide that off. I 
Looks like that slides right in. So now I can stick that in a outlet in the US. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video here and just look over these instructions real quick and then we'll uh, move forward with installing the hard drive and memory. Okay, the instructions look pretty straightforward. So to open this, we'll remove the screws on the bottom. Looks like they're captive, so they won't pop out. So here's the inside. I forgot to mention this has wireless on it also, so there's the wireless card. So it looks pretty straightforward. We have the little slot for memory, and we have the carriage for holding the hard drive. I'll start with the memory. I went with an 8 gigabyte uh, memory card for this. I thought about using a 2 gig because I did want to make like a low power, um, you know, a low performance machine. But I went with 8 because it really doesn't cost a lot of money and I'm not sure where this is going to end up when I'm done uh, running experiments on it. So. Now I'll install the hard drive. If you've never used one of these uh, SSDs, they're tiny, they're super thin, they're very lightweight. I'm going to orient this hard drive. So the uh, SATA connector lines up. I'm going to detach this so I can get a better hold on this. So these little tabs here that create friction, when you stick this in here, and it appears that I need to hold this down with my thumb while I press it in. And then it goes in easily. Then there's two screws on either side to attach it. Rather, there's one screw on each side. There we go. I'll plug this back in. Make sure it's oriented properly so front goes to the front. And I'll tighten these screws down. Okay, so that's the unboxing and build of the uh, Intel NUC uh, in, my, in my low power series. And I'll put a link in the description uh, to a playlist as I add more videos uh, utilizing this uh, box. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you like this pl uh, video, please click like. And um, if you haven't already, I'd love if you could subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.